And as we welcome Andy Ruiz Jr. here with our Deontay Wilder. watching around the world ladies and gentlemen uh, let's get ready to look enough said time to cut off his head there will be bloodshed in this fight he just fought a perfect strategy just waiting and people oh my god i was on twitter reading people this guy can't even box like did you not see what happened Fight fans, welcome back to Luxury Tainment. In this video, He also won against Alexandre Dimitrenko on the 20th of April 2019 by technical knockout in the fifth round. Wilder's last five fights have come over a period of three years, seven months and 13 days, meaning he has been fighting on average every eight months and 21 days. In those fights, he fought a total of 27 rounds, meaning that they have lasted 5.4 rounds on average. Ruiz Jr.'s last five fights have come over a period of three years, eight months and 11 days, meaning he has been fighting on average every eight months and 27 days. In those fights, he fought a total of 48 rounds, meaning that they have lasted 9.6 rounds on average. Andy Ruiz looked better against Ortiz, which was a good victory. Wilder was good against Hellenius, who might be past his best, but still, Wilder is very dangerous. He's brilliant for the sport, and Andy Ruiz is a warrior. I just think Wilder v Andy Ruiz is a brilliant fight, and I predict that Wilder knocks out Andy Ruiz Jr. in the fifth round. We wanted Robert to reach. And um, once he reached, I teached. A valuable lesson was taught tonight. So the heavyweight division is on check. So guys, who do you have winning? Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and have a fabulous 2023. I ain't scared of nobody. I'll come to your backyard, baby, for that, my man.